As many of you may know, I happen to 100% absolutely adore the Clement Street Nursery, which is just around the corner from my home. I was planning to go to Little Trees a little bit further away, but it was closed today. I hope you enjoyed the sneak peek into my happy place. I seriously can't wait until they get more begonias and anthurium because then I won't even be able to contain myself with spending my own money. And I'm sure that will make for more interesting videos because sadly this is the second trip to this nursery in this past year where I've come home empty handed. And the worst part is I was looking for a birthday present for myself, but Comment down below and let me know if you see anything that you think I should have picked up. This begonia on the left here really caught my eye because it doesn't have that silvery color that a lot of begonias have and I don't really honestly care for. Okay, in my brain, this plant was pronounced Fakia adulis, which I don't know if that could possibly mean anything, but still, this Pilea was really pretty too. I was uncharacteristically interested in these ficus that they had today, especially this Audrey, because it was soft, but I know it doesn't really go with my aesthetic, so I didn't get one. Can we just talk about how this one looks like it's twerking though? Hehe. <laughs> also, if I hadn't sworn off Peperomia because I always kill them, that plant and that plant both caught my eye because, oh my God, are they beautiful but I just can't keep Peperomia alive as far as I've experienced. So they're just gonna stay away from my apartment. Could not believe the amount of Hoya that they had today. So crazy good. I mean, variegated Hindu rope, Hoya linearis, I never see those in San Francisco. Um, the Hoya Australis Lisa. I think this is the first time I've seen the Lisa. I've seen Australis before, but not the variegated, and it's so pretty. Also, I am super, super tempted to get a carnivorous plant now Pinguicula. because the and the sundews are really cute. I was also really tempted to get the Alocasia Metalhead, which has black undersides to the leaves. They just had a lot of really cool stuff today. Nothing that jumped out at me though. 
as I may have already said, I'm not sure. Well, that's not really true, but they were out of my budget for this trip. So there's that. I was really tempted to get this variegated Maranta, even though I bought one last time I bought a plant from this nursery. But this one was a really good price for like a six inch pot. And the last one was a decent price for the four inch pot. So it was tempting, I can't lie. Also, from now on, we will be referring to these plants as Epiprenum, not Pothos, because according to Plant Me Ashley and the follow-up research I did, these are not Pothos. That is an entirely different plant. Pothos are cute little terrarium guys, and Epiprenum are what we find in every store ever. So... Oh my god, I was so tempted to get a banana plant. I walked towards the register three different times with one, and I just couldn't commit today. This peperomia, though, it's just, it's so pink. I loved it. If I didn't have a peperomia ban, I would have gotten that. Alas, I do. This ficus little sunshine was really interesting. I don't know what makes it different from the regular Lorata, though. So I didn't get that either, since I already have a ficus lirata. The Monstera Perus really nicely, are always really actually. tempting, but every time I see them, I'm like, dang, I like that so much better when it's in someone else's video or Instagram post than I do when I see it in person. And I don't know why. These philodendron and this ficus audrey though, it was so huge. The audacity to have such gorgeous plants that I don't have room for yet. Also, this Thai constellation has me drooling every time I walk into this nursery, just like these alocasia over here. I haven't seen half of these or heard of them, really. Um, I was so tempted to get this. This thing is the most beautiful alocasia I think I've ever seen. I need a jewel alocasia in my life, specifically the cupria, because oh my goodness. The velvety ones are cool too, but. And just check out all these sun-stressed Hoyas. So pretty, but again, Hoya aren't really in my aesthetic. I don't know. I like the really leafy, like herbaceous leaved plants, if that makes sense. Hoyas are not made for leaf petters. Although this was a steal for the Variegata Compacta. Like, what? This Spousophyllum, aka Peacely, was really tempting as well. Um, of course, gotta love the Silt Pecana. Also, let's put it on record that I think this is the first peduncle I've ever seen get to actual bloom stage in my life. I had a Hoya Bella, my Hoya Bella, when I first got it had a peduncle blast, and I have seen nothing since. It's very sad.
I gotta be real with you, these Calathea Mosaica were super tempting too. I mean, they're Calathea and they have a rad pattern on them. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? I went into this section and really was convinced I was gonna buy one of their pots. Or a huge Mikan's. I don't know. They were both really tempting. I even walked around with one of their pots for a moment, just in case I might buy it. But of course, those things will be there next time I come back. The mustardy color and that pink, peachy pink were really tempting. But I'm not too sold on the shape, the cylindrical shape. I don't know. Sorry about the uh, decision to use the wide lens. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. It looks kind of cool and kind of chaotic at the same time. Uh, they got fuzzy petioles, um, some weird philodendron, including these pink birkins really interesting plants they don't really look like birkins they look more like weird pink princesses but this painted lady was actually a little tempting even though i don't really know why it's not really in my aesthetic this splendid though oh my god this splendid it's just so gorgeous it was here last time i went in also and the price point is probably why. Um, I think this is a fuzzy petiole as well. I picked this up like six times, but unless someone else is buying that for my birthday, probably not gonna be added to my collection. Um, yeah. They still have the mame as well. And then this. Holy shit, this. Monstera Adansoni Indo Mint. Like, what? I wanted to steal it out of the store. It was so cute. This arrangement with the chandelier and plants hanging from the ceiling always does it for me too. It's just gorgeous. That is an employee bathroom, fun fact. And then, oh, there's me, hi. Squirrel, wait, where's my coffee? Oh, there she is, yay, coffee. I needed that today. This melanochrysum made me real sad because of the one I got from Equigenera that I had to chop up into tiny pieces. These Monstera Dubia are pretty cool, as are these pots. I was really into that blue one. So pretty. And of course, La Pièce de Résistance, the Anthurium Clearinervium that I really would like to add to my collection. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.